Hey kids, Miss Cooster here. I'm going to walk you through your assignment today. You are in specials, fifth grade, art. You're going to go to your Tuesday lesson and click on it. You are going to go to your Nearpod. Oh, excuse me, you, yes, you're gonna go to your Nearpod. This is me explaining you, explaining to you how to do your Nearpod. All right, so welcome to your lesson. You type in your name, you say, you click on join your lesson. Abstract art part two. Um, question, what would you rather do? Read a book or watch a movie? There's a button over here that you can click on to have your question read to you. Your learning intentions for this lesson are, I will be able to describe what abstract art is. I will be able to create a piece of abstract art. Your success criteria is, students will be able to identify and describe abstract art. Students will be able will create a piece of abstract art that has that has the following. I think there's a T missing right there. Three lines, happy, sad, and angry, three shapes, three musical notes. Types of lines, happy lines, happy lines curve up and have a loop. Sad lines, sad lines curve down like a frown without a loop. Angry lines, angry lines zigzag like the tooth of an angry monster. So here are some examples of happy lines. Always look up here because that's that little button that, that will read the slide to you. All right. Here is where you draw three happy lines. So you're practicing drawing happy lines on that slide. Here are some examples of sad lines. And over here, it's your turn to draw sad lines. Practice drawing sad lines. Here are Ms. Cooster's examples of some zigzag lines, some angry lines. And on this slide, it's your turn to practice drawing angry lines. Again, you want me to read the slide to you? There you go, click on that. Shapes, shapes, shapes. Your lesson, your abstract art is also going to include shapes. You will use three shapes. Again, you can click on here, have it read to you when you're watching your Nearpod. You will use three shapes in your abstract art draw the three shapes you will use. If you wanna use one shape over more than once, you can do that too. Okay, musical notes. We're gonna use musical notes in our abstract art as well. On this slide, it says to circle the three notes you would like to use in your abstract art. Okay, and always make sure you press that submit button when you're done with your work. Um, there's that button to have the directions read to you. And then on this slide, you are going to draw the three musical notes you will use. Okay, always press that submit button. So let's get started. Today we will draw three lines, draw three shapes, and draw three musical notes. Okay, you're gonna start by drawing three lines. This is Ms. Cooster's example. You do not have to do your three lines the same way Ms. Cooster did her three lines. So you're going to click on here for directions. It says draw a happy line, a sad line, and an angry line. All right, 
and then you are going to add three shapes to your three lines. So on this slide, now you're going to draw a happy line, a sad line, and an angry line again. Click on there for directions. And you're going to add three geometric shapes. Remember those shapes you drew earlier? Add them into your drawing. Always press your submit button when you're done. All right, and then you're going to add those three musical notes that you picked out um, and practice drawing earlier. So this time we're going to put it all together. Again, press here for directions. You're going to draw a happy line, a sad line, and an angry line. You can put them in the same place as you did before. You can put them somewhere else. You're going to add three geometric shapes. You're going to add three musical notes. And that is going to be the basis, the beginning of your art. Don't forget to press the submit button. Abstract art lesson. The following video is showing you what we will do on Thursday and Friday. Today you are just watching, listening, and learning. I will have drawing paper available in the office on Wednesday after 9 a.m. and a pastel too. Make sure you are polite to the office ladies when asking for the art supplies. So if you need paper, you go to the office and you pick up some paper, okay? So here's that video. You're again, you're going to watch it. We'll watch it again um, tomorrow, but watch it and just get a feel for what she's doing and what get a feel for what you're going to do and listen carefully and learn. And so at this point, you are going to start your Nearpod. So you're going to, the video is over. Go to your Nearpod, make sure you participate in every slide. And just so you know, I am checking to see if you are doing your work. I'm not just checking to see if you turned it in. Okay, any questions, I'm here to help and I am happy to help.